So on Friday night and Shabbat day, as well as on the nights and days of Yom Tov, it's customary to dip the bread after you make hamotzi, to dip it in salt after reciting the Beracha. However, it was not customary to dip the bread in salt on ordinary weekday meals. Prior to reciting the Beracha of Hamotzi on Shabbat and Yom Tov, it's customary to recite the following Pesukim. Followed by the next Pesuk of Poteh HaTyadecha Masbi'a Lekol Hayratzon. Followed by Baruch Mekadesh HaShabbat, without Hashem's name. If it was Yom Tov, Baruch Mekadesh Yisrael V'Zemanim. If it's Shabbat and Yom Tov, Baruch Mekadesh HaShabbat Yisrael V'Zemanim. And then you recite the Beracha of Hamotzi. So now when you're reciting the Pesukim and the, and the Beracha, you hold two loaves of bread in both hands. And it's customary when you get to the word Hamotzi to lift the bread up. And then, as we said, after you complete the blessing, you, it was customary to break the bread with your hands. How we never had the custom to cut the bread with a knife. And then, as we said, you dip it in salt. Those that follow the Kabbalistic teachings are careful to dip each bread of, uh, in each piece of bread in salt three times. And then it's distri- after you taste your piece, you distribute, distribute it to the other people. So the custom in Halab was when they distributed the bread to others, that they would throw it, meaning in a gentle way, to each person at the table. So as long as the bread is not being thrown in a disrespectful manner, it's not a, uh, it's not a halakhic problem. This was the custom of Acham Oshet Tawil Alav HaShalom. He was the chief rabbi in Halab, as well as his student, Acham Yisak Shahibar, who went on to be the chief rabbi in Argentina. According to Acham David Yosef, the son of Acham Ovedia, his father, Acham Ovedia, would also gently throw the bread to people that were sitting a little bit further away in a manner so he was careful that it wouldn't fall on the floor. This is as if somebody was sitting a little further away from him. And as we said, it's not a halachic problem since you're not throwing it in a disrespectful manner, but you're just being careful not to put it in someone's hand. Why don't you want to put the bread in someone's hand? Hanabam writes in Hilchot Berachot that when you're distributing bread to people, that you put it in front of them, and you don't put it in their hand unless they're a mourner. So therefore the custom came to be, if they're not sitting next to you and you can't put it directly in front of them, you uh, throw it gently. Um, Just one last custom, and and that's... um, after the person who makes hamotzi tastes the bread and he's distributing it to others, the custom, also interestingly based on the mikubalim, is to always give your wife right after you. After you taste it, the first person that gets is your wife before anyone else at the table.